Hello everybody, Liz here and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do a tag. I keep wanting to say book tag. I wanted to do a tag that had to do with my writing because it's been a hot, hot minute since I've done anything writing related on this channel and I actually wrote some stuff this week so I wanted to, you know, continue that streak. So today I wanted to do so you're a writer tag. Just asking and answering some silly writing questions because again I have not finished a single book like full-length novel in the entirety of 2019 and we're about to hit the middle of the year try not to panic but anyways let's get started question number one is describe your work in progress or work in progress is badly so I'm going to be doing two of them, uh, my Dahlia one and my Daughters of Lilith one. And basically one is, what if the underworld met Sailor Moon, they had a child that had to do with Bible stories? That's the best way I can describe it. And then we have the Dahlia one, which is Peaky Blinders meets Six of Crows meets Narcos Mexico. Yeah, and she goes crazy in that one. Question number dos is what song or songs describe you as a writer? At the moment, probably Blood, Sweat and Tears because that is literally what I'm doing because writing is hard. So Blood, Sweat and Tears by none other than BTS and also Save Me by BTS because God, sometimes I sit there and stare at my screen and do nothing. And it's, yeah, so those <laughs> describe pretty well my, my, my process, what I'm, you know, working with. Uh, a non-BTS related song that I would probably describe me pretty well is Nightmare at the moment, just the title of it, because sometimes I'm just sitting there and I'm like, why are words so hard? And then I remember that uh, I'm forcing it. So <laughs> question number three is what is the best worst and weirdest writing advice you've ever gotten. So the best writing advice that I've heard um, and that's been given to me uh, kind of has been by the beautiful Sabata here and she was talking and also Victoria Schwab that it's okay to dream and it's okay to not write um, and just kind of let, let your story play itself out in your head. The worst advice personally has been write every single day because I am a millennial I work and there's just it's it's sometimes very hard when you work customer service to try to sit down and write after you've dealt with people yelling at you all day so and I, I mean it's the worst because it put a lot of pressure on me and it put me in this really really ugly writer's block where I couldn't write anything good and anything that I was happy with or content with for like months so yeah uh, the weirdest writing advice I've ever gotten um, would probably be to just like copy something from somebody else like verbatim and then just change some things. Um, so the writing advice is like, oh, find a piece of work that you really love and then just rewrite it with your own twist. And so that was a weird thing because it's like, isn't that plagiarism? Because it's like, you won't, like, the whole point, I guess, was to get you to finish a work. But I'm like, I feel like there's a little muddiness in there. So that was a weird piece of advice that I've gotten. Question number cuatro is, what kind of writer are you? So usually people ask, are you a panster? Are you a planner? And I think I fall more on the panster. Like, I kind of just write and hope for the best. I have an idea, but I kind of just go and I'm also what I would call myself a fever writer so like I will sit there and I will write like as fast as you know I can and I'll just um that's my sound the sound of my keyboard um all in one bit and then I'll slowly work on stuff but it kind of big things like big plot points kind of come out of me at one point and then that can be also a little discouraging because you hear people that write every single day or that have the ability to write or if their method, that's their method and you're just sitting here like, why can't I write? And then that also puts a weird pressure on you. But anyways, 
Question number five is what is the most common place that you get story ideas? So like, are you driving? Are you in the shower? Do, do they just pop up when you're at work? Personally, the place that I probably get the most writing ideas is when I'm driving. So usually I'm driving and I have music on. So like the music will kind of aid in the imagination of whatever is going on. I've had some amazing breakthroughs uh, while driving to pick up my sister or driving to work or, you know, driving to LA or something like that. So the car is probably the best place for me to like kind of work out or develop ideas. Question number six. Six, seis, I don't know why I did it like that, um, is what is the weirdest place you've ever gotten inspiration? Um, and I think when I'm asking this is like, not just like in the shower or something like that, but like have you ever been anywhere and all of a sudden you're just like, oh my god. So I was in the middle of a concert, I don't remember who it was, and I was just, you know, and then all of a sudden I had this flash and I was like, no, it wasn't a concert, it was at the club. And I was dancing and I got the flash of a scene for da for the Daughters of Lilith with and I was like oh and I wanted I had a strange urge to write it down but I was drunk in a club so it was just very weird place because I wasn't supposed to be thinking about anything and it kind of just happened. Question number seven is what bad advice would your main character give you? So both of my main characters would give me really bad advice, I think, for any kind of predicament. Let's say, love life, uh, Alex would just be like, she's the main character in my Daughters of Love with one, she'd just be like, uh, she would be the wrong person to ask. She would just give me really bad advice, like really generic advice. Um, and then for my Dahlia Whip, Dahlia would probably just tell me to like, tell them to fuck off. Um, or something equally, like, dramatic. Yeah, they, they would not be very good people to solicit advice, life advice either. Uh, they'd probably tell me to fuck shit up or to, you know, fight the system or something equally unhelpful. Like if I came to Dahlia and told her like I was having a hard time at work and I just, my coworkers weren't great, she would literally tell me to stab them. I, or like sabotage them so they would get fired. Um, so that would be very bad advice and or you know sabotage my manager so that I can get the manager position and I don't have to work under anybody so Dahlia would not be a good person ever to ask advice for but if I had to ask for bad advice she'd be a great candidate okay uh and the last question number eight number ocho and then if you ask why I did eight is because my favorite number is eight but what Disney theme song or song would best fit as a theme song for your work in progress so uh, definitely for Thurs of Lilith, I would have to pick I'll Make a Man Out of You by <laughs> I'll Make a Man Out of You from the Mulan soundtrack in the Mulan movie. Um, I think that would best fit um, a little bit. The idea of the song, not so much the song itself. Um, and then for Dahlia, a Disney song that would fit Oh, hmm, that one's a hard one. I didn't actually think this one through. A Disney song. Literally the opposite of whatever um, will bring honor to us all because she will never bring honor, like the one that you're expecting. Um, so maybe reflections. Um, when will my reflections show who I am inside kind of situation? Um, yeah, I think that would be the best one to kind of give you a feel of what the theme is but even then like it's not even no disney song is appropriate for dahlia's story so she it, mm, yeah she would she would not make a good disney anything villain maybe but never anything else um but yeah and number nine bonus question uh tell me the favorite part or your favorite part of working on whatever manuscript or work in progress you're working on. I love to hear other writers uh, talk about their work because I feel like we don't often get asked outside of Twitter or like writing groups. So I would love to hear. Um, and if you have any advice for other writers or for, you know, what advice has worked well for you. Um, yeah, so my favorite part of 
writing for me is writing dialogue. I love writing people interact with each other because I do that in my head all the time. So it's fun to put it on paper and kind of the witty banter between two characters. I'm a big fan and I love writing that. It's my favorite part of writing and there'll probably be a lot of dialogue in all of my stories. So have that to look forward to. But yeah, uh, that is all for me. Um, I tag anybody because I don't want to tag anyone in specific because I don't want to leave anybody out. So anybody who sees this, anybody who wants to do it, feel free to do it. I am excited to see what your answers are. Um, but yes, that is all for me. I hope you have a good morning, afternoon or night whenever you happen to be watching this and happy writing. Adios.